Well, I don't have to answer your questions. Right, and I still okay. haven't seen your designation card. I don't have to show you anything. Yes, you, you do have to. It's part of your policy to show me your really. designation card. Okay. Yes, it is. So EA7113. Okay. And welcome back to the uh, channel, everybody. Today we are playing a visit to Ilford Police Station, uh, which is located in High Road, Ilford, in an IG1 uh, postcode. And we're just in a police car, just uh, going out now. So we've got a few seconds, uh, a few seconds too late. Now. Uh, Ilford Police Station is the only police station within the London Borough of Redbridge that has a front counter that is actually open 20, uh, 24 hours per day. Now all the other police stations in the borough don't have any uh, front counters anymore. So if you you know need to speak to the police uh, or come you know into a front counter, you know you have to travel to Ilford, find somewhere to park, and then uh, come to the uh, the police station. Now. The crime map for the location shows 275 crimes were reported in January, 49 theft from the person, 41 violence and sexual offences, and 36 shoplifting. And I'll, uh, I'll stitch in all the, uh, the details of all the uh, uh, offences. Um, what's surprising though is that there are no recording policing uh, priorities uh, for this area. So let's have a uh, look around, uh, shall we? So this is Ilford Police Station, just zoom in on the sign. So I won't go into the front counter yet, I'm just going to have a quick tour of the uh, of the perimeter. So that's the uh, that's the way in, so no turning, police vehicles only, drivers beware pedestrians. So let's have a perimeter tour, so that's the, uh, the front counter in there. So again, it's quite a big, uh, big building. This one, all the windows are blurred out, so no one can see in. So they're respecting their sort of privacy. Just one, it's not blurred out, but there is a uh, something cut over the window to stop anyone seeing him. So that's uh, good. It's a really funny video. Uh, of another auditor that visited uh, this station, uh, PTTP, uh, and uh, I'll put a link into the uh, in the description. But it's quite it's quite funny because he was trying to when he was engaging with the police, uh, it was all to the uh, the tune of uh, like the theme of different songs. Uh, but I'll see if I can find it, and if I can, I'll uh, I'll link it into the uh, I'll link it in. I'm just going to cross over so you can get a bit of a an idea of the size of uh, of the station. So let's go from here. So it kind of gives you an aspect view. I'll also stitch in uh, as well a map of the uh, the borough and where this station is located, just so you can see the size of the borough and uh, where people have to come to uh, to actually uh, visit the uh, visit the station. Let's have a just walk down here, keep on the public footpath. Just do a tour with really high walls around the outside. That's quite interesting uh, there. I'll just zoom in. If I can see around the uh, windows there, it's all uh, kind of grated off. So uh, I wonder what that's for. It's, it's a stop officers jumping out the uh, jumping out the window. So there's an officer up there looking at me on the phone. Just zoom in on him. See if he give me a wave. Yeah, it's give me a wave. <laughs> so it's quite uh, quite funny. And I've got it all around the, uh, the sides as well. There's like kind of fencing there. It's not on this side though, funny enough. 
Oh, he's, uh, he's shut. The officer shut his blinds now. <laughs> oh dear. So it just gives you an idea, but it's a really big high wall on the outside. shops down here the uh, Union Jack and the Met Police flag flying away there in the wind just try and get across now maybe I shouldn't have crossed the radar I'm not going to get across here yeah. Police vehicle there coming in. So let's go around to the side gate and uh, have a look in there, see if we can catch any vehicles coming out. And then, uh, actually, I'm going to go inside the uh, the front office then do the uh, the side gate. It is really windy here. So I think Beverly might be a pass on this one. I'll try it though. So I might just have to keep low, that's all. So automatic doors. So I found this connection is not working. So I've got some old sort of phones where police officers used to used to doing this to direct traffic. I believe that's the photo of the uh, the first black police officer in the Met. in the front office at the moment. So I've got bank card faults. You only click away from reporting incident or crime online. It's not great if you uh, if you need help straight away though, is it? It's not into the booth unless asked. You cannot see if the booth is occupied already. Zoom in on these, I don't know if it's picking them up. Zoom out. There's actually nothing in here about the uh, the, the, uh, the, the major crime, so if the police station, so just zoom in on that sign so that it was opened on the 5th of October 1995 by Sir Paul Condon. Is that you spell his name? Sure, it's got an M on the end, doesn't it? So, and he was the uh, commissioner for the police at the time. So that's the inside of the... Considering it's the only uh, place in the... Uh, borough that you can actually go. They've only got two front offices, neither of which are manned at the moment. So 
So, let's have a look so we can see here. So you've got a white van there. So, so these are either unmarked cars or personal vehicles. So you've got a white van, so it's the only thing we can see at the moment. There was someone about to come out that door, but she saw me and she stopped. So just looks like mostly personal uh, personal vehicles. So let's hang around see if we get any uh, interaction. Stick George on as well. Yep, kind of officers there. Oops, see me, gone straight back in. Quick one, man, the camera. So it's three people now waiting in the front office and no one at the front counters. Dog section. Uh, police dogs. I believe there's a police dog base on uh, the island, actually on the Isle of Dogs, so that's quite ironic. So we'll eventually get over to that. So that officer waited for the gates to shut, did the right thing. There's no buzzers or anything in the front office. <coughs> Stand out the road, I don't need to accuse me of obstructing the traffic. Zoom in.
wonder if the uh, the new deputy, uh, the new uh, chief superintendent, is based out of uh, based out of this station, or if he's in uh, Havering or Barking and Degnan, considering their controls and responsible for all three boroughs. And uh, should there be one person responsible for three extremely large London boroughs with a uh, A very large population. Unmarked van there. Officers just ignoring me at the moment. I wonder if any officers will come out. The wind doesn't seem too bad from around here, so I might be able to stick Beverly up and just have a look what's uh, what we can't see with the naked eye. It's probably just parked cars. That'd be interesting to have a look. Uh, wind's quite gusty at the moment but looking around where I am it's pretty clear it's quite sheltered I haven't seen any officer on foot patrol yet. There's a few gusts of wind, I don't know if the, ca the uh, camera's picking it up. That's 24 manned front office that is currently unmanned. It's two people at the moment, one person got full up of waiting and left. I think they have some sort of buzzer or bell to let people know. I want to let one of them know that I'm actually going to put a drone up.
see these guys come out. Zoom out so I can get them. I'm normally guilty of having the uh, camera on the uh, wrong zoom setting. Here we go. So that's the unmarked vehicle coming out first of all. Ignored me and the dog section out. I don't know what he was waiting for there, it's road was clear. Oh, he's waiting for the gates to shut, that's what he was doing. Uh, not much in the way of action on this one. Let's have a quick look at this signboard. See if there's anything to do with the uh, the crimes that I mentioned that are in the bar and in this ward. No, about terrorism. Support anything you've heard that could identify a terrorist threat. Well, there's a man with a camera outside the police station. So surely that's a section 43 offence. That's what normally happens. Woman's safety, street safety. See they get theft of the person so that's kind of relevant in this borough. Uh, uh, to go about report, reporting a crime. There's nothing on uh, on that one. Could do with a bit of a clean, to be honest with you. And looking at the uh, the cobwebs inside, I don't think these get updated that often. You know, they are there for members of the public to, to take a look at. It's a way to uh, interact with the public, let them know what you do, what they're doing, to help keep us safe. Been waiting a long time. No one at the counter. Well, I think the only thing left for it is to get Beverly up in here. So let's just cross the road. It's a public footpath, just making sure. Just want to see what's on these signs, make sure there's no bylaws. So that's no, just about reporting 40 lamps, drinking and let us know that there's CCTV in operation. So this is the public footpath here. Right, so guys, I'll be back with you in a sec when I get Beverly up in the air. Actually guys, I actually decided not to actually do a flight uh, in the end. Uh, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit too, uh, too windy. Morning. Hello, how you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Nice to see what you're filming. Uh, well, you at the moment because you've come up to me. Sorry? You at the moment no, well, because you've come up to me. Before that was you taking the flip Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. Why is that, sir? Why? Yeah. Yeah, so I do observational uh, documentaries, so I'm doing a thing on the police at the moment. Uh, in light, in light of the report that's just come out right. into the uh, the behaviour of certain police officers and the Met as a whole. Right. Okay. So, have you got any comment you'd like to make on that? No, I'm not making no comment. I okay. Have you, have, some okay. Have you, have you got a designation card on you that I can have a look at? Of course. Okay. Can I see a designation? I can take some pictures from you. I don't know who you are exactly. Yeah, you're not getting no details off me. Right. Okay. Because I don't need to give any details to you. 
Thomas, why are you filming outside the police station? Am I committing an offence? You can't, you can't, I mean, I want to know the reason why, because there's, no, there's been loads of terrorist attacks. And okay, do you think, okay, do you, okay, when was the last time a police station was attacked by a terrorist? Doesn't matter, so I'm well, it does because it does because it's never happened in the the only place place it's happened is in Northern Ireland in the Troubles. Right, so I'm, I'm asking you a question, but you're asking me questions back. Well, I don't have to answer your questions, right, and I still haven't seen your designation card. I don't have to show you anything. Yes, you, you do have to. It's part of your policy to show me your really. designation card. Matt, yes, it is. So EA seven one one three. So I can see your designation card, please. It's part of your policy to show me your designation card. So can I see the designation card, please, as part of your policy? OK, well, an email is going to go into Chief Superintendent Andrew Bell, and uh, you'll get uh, educated. Because you have to, it's part of your policy. Honest, it's part of your. I've just got authorization from my. my yeah, and I, I actually said I walk away. Just, yeah, yeah. I should just leave because, you alone and walk away. Because so I'm, I'm not committing. I'm not committing an offence. So, under your policy, you're supposed to give me your designation card. Why and that does it because that, that is what because it's part of your policy. Sorry, it's a part of your policy. What, when asked by me, when asked by a member of the public right. to see a PCSO's, I'm only going to get this confirmed if my well, police get it, get it confirmed. says that. I'm get it, get it confirmed. You, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'm not showing you any members of the public. Well, you, you're supposed to be showing me a copy of your designation you card. Are. You haven't identified yourself. Well, I'm a member of the public. I don't need to identify myself. Right, okay. so the only time I need I to identify myself is I'm committing an offence. Good morning. He's a member of public. He's saying that's how he's identified. Yeah. yeah, good morning. Right. Right. Yeah, can you? Power card. Yeah, and an, and an email is going to go into your chief superintendent, Andrew Bell, to let him know that you're not following, following your policy. Can you identify yourself, officers, please? Yeah, I'm PC Miles. Five one nine. Okay. I've got no bodyboard on. Sorry, I've got no bodyboard on. That's all right. Yeah, I can see that. Seven eight zero. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, officers. I don't understand why I have to show him my desk. Because it's a part of your it's a part of your policy. You think it's part of my policy? What policy? I, I carry it with him. I carry it with him. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, but yeah. I don't have to show it to you. Yes, you do. Yeah. When a member of the public asks to see your policy, because it's what the police, uh, the chief constable, is well, the powers sir, that is designated I've never had to you. Anyone asking me for my designated power card, but I have a, I have a witness. Okay. Can I see that, please? So I can see what powers you've actually been designed, and it's good that you actually. Uh... Yes. I think. Yeah. In black and white. Yeah. The ID card is shown. Obviously, with respect, a lot of members of the public, when we're dealing with them, just see the uniform and they're happy. Yeah. Because they don't know so their rights. You're in order to say you're doing some sort of form of order. Well, no, I'm a member of the public. Okay. Well, uh, that's, that's good. well, I've got a camera. Yeah. yeah. So with the orders, they just want to make sure everything is. Um, is correct. And at the moment, you're not so. putting yourself in a good light, especially of the report that's just happened about the Met. It's absolutely shocking behaviour. If anything, you should. If anything, you should be crossing crossing the eye. Right, so this is what actually gives you your, your powers by the Chief thank Constable. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all we have to do first of all, and then we wouldn't have had this situation. Right, so thank you very much. Thank you very day. much. Good day. How are you doing, officers? Right, yeah, you you both good? good? You're yeah, yeah, yeah. just going back to the station, yeah. 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 But, but for some, is it? Breakfast? Yeah. Or just, just to, for refreshments. That's, <laughs> that's a bit cold this morning. Anyway, there's, 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 one th there's one thing you can do when you go in there. There's been some guys actually waiting for a, a, about an hour now. Uh, no, not that long, about half an hour for the front office and it is, you know, this is the only police station in the London Bar of Redbridge that's got a front office. It says it's 24 hours manned, but you've got two people and one, there was actually three, one person has actually walked away. Can we get someone out there to see them and for the public, please? 
Yeah. 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 Can you identify yourself, officers, please? I can identify myself to you. That's perfectly fine, officer. Thank sir. you. I appreciate you asking that. Yeah, no problem at all. And thanks for both being polite and professional. Hey, no, I'm PC Ellie Daly. I'm based at Ilford Town Centre team. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Yeah, so if you get any more calls, like, this is really a good guy walking about with a camera yes, today. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's going to be me. Oh, special constable, yeah. doing it voluntary. You, Hiya. You wanna, you wanna be uh, an officer in the end? Um, perhaps, but perhaps. I haven't decided yet. But for now, I'm just happy to help do my bit. Yeah. Okay. Right, sir. Right. Lovely, cheers. That'd be great if you can get the front office there. Uh, the people they've been they've been waiting there for a long time. No, that's uh, that's it. Uh, the, the only only thing, so I like to start the uh, look at the crime stats uh, for the uh, for the area. There's nothing on the notice boards about you know what you're doing about the uh, the crimes that are in uh, in the London Borough of Redbridge. One, one thing we're doing today, I know you're going to love this. Yeah. We're, we're actually while we're playing clothes, doing an operation based on what the officers are coming out to be. Yeah, that, that is actually yeah. Fifth of the person actually, is your yeah, biggest. It's one yeah. of our highest. If you've, yeah. if you've had a nose, you'd know. Yeah, of course I've had a nose. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do, we're doing festive the person staff, getting out there, speaking to banks and stuff. Yeah, my, my job's the same what you know. Well, <laughs> well, it's and it's good. Kind of what, what's what's on the on, on the website as well, you know, because normally on a lot of forces uh, it will say what the uh, the crime pot spots are, what the crimes are, but it also say what the priorities are. But for Redbridge there's none. There's and none. for this what and for this ward, it doesn't say. So remember the public looking at that, it's like, yeah. well, what you're doing to, to keep me safe, especially yeah. like the top, the top three, and, and one that I'm really shocked about that I see across a lot of violence is um, sort of violence and sexual abuse. Yes, it's like have it, you heard it, it's about amazing the new, the new um, thing that they brought in where basically they're saying that police officers can give hundred pound fines for like things like cat calling and stuff like that. Really? So we are trying to bring what, uh, it in. So obviously as a town centre team as well, it's a new thing that we're okay, trying so we to Okay, so we got we got to be careful about calling you names then. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Unless it's constable, then I don't, don't, don't want to know. But no, yeah, so things are coming out, but if that's not on there, because obviously I've looked myself because yeah. I am in the centre, so yeah. I would know. Yeah. But if that's not on there, I'll take a lot of we'll go speak to the media team. Yeah. When did um, Andrew Bell take over as your new chief? As a new chief, oh, it's a while back. Is it a while back now? I yeah, because I. I uh, I only, well, I only actually noticed it because I was coming, coming here because I've done, <laughs> um, I did like Longford and Barclay Dagnum yeah. and there was nothing on there about him being uh, appointed but other than he was the borough commander for uh, Barking and Dagenham. Yeah. So uh, but when I was looking up uh, like Barking side and this station and you know what, what, what's your opinion on you know I, I mentioned that this is the only station in the borough with a front uh, desk you know as a member of the public you know and if I lived right you know I'm not saying where I live and I don't actually live in this borough but if I lived like the other end of the borough like over Chigwall or something like that and I need help and maybe I haven't got a phone I want to get to a front office and like all the police stations are, are closed. Like, I just I've been over Barking Side this morning, and like there's not there's not even you know what, it's, it's not open, but there's not even what I call the uh, the yellow phone of disconnection, Officer 101. Yeah. Uh, outside, uh, there's not even that there, but there are officers there because I see them going in and out. Yeah, there is there is officers there. It's still yeah. it's still a patrol centre. People still patrol from there, mainly safe neighbourhoods and all that kind of parts and stuff like that. Yeah, but right. still patrol from there. Okay. The front office is still right here. Yeah. But that's something that we raise as well. Obviously, as you know, the general public raise that, and the more people raise it, obviously, the more it comes into life. But I think this one, we need, we need more. Yeah, and especially as well, it's like, you know, I, I mean, as well, it's like, you know, unmanned as well. It's like, you know, it's the only station that's unmanned. I get that. You know, but so, we'll go in uh, now. maybe feedback that, back that, uh, that back to your sergeant. I'll grab a chat and yeah. see if I can help out front desk. Okay. And uh, probably see you around. Yeah, it's good. Hanging around. Yeah, well, I was actually just about to go, so it's quite actually quite a boring video. Oh. <laughs> uh, until the uh, the PCSO uh, turned up, uh, turned up, which uh, actually made it entertaining, and you, you oh got boy, you, you guys boy. you guys safe the uh, safe today. So should we start again? I'll have an argument with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want, well, can you come out with section forty three? Because yeah, that would be on, hilarious. Yeah. Stop recording. I'll come back. <laughs> no, well, you know that's not going to happen. <laughs> Okay, yeah, good day. And uh, maybe if you're out pickpocketing, I'll, uh, well, I'll, I won't uh, be, if I do see I won't be too close uh, Thank you. to you. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, because, uh, you know, if there's people pickpocketing, they need to be taken off the streets. So. Okay, cheers. Take care. Have a good day, officers. Thanks for, thanks for saving the day. Because uh, the PCO, PCSO is about to get really embarrassed. Okay, guys, so I was actually just about to, uh, to wrap that video. Uh, I didn't put the, uh, the the drone up 
uh, I got it about 10 foot a couple of foot off the ground and it actually started moving sideways with a, a big gust of wind that comes so uh, I wasn't taking that one but immediately as I put the, the drone away a piece CSO uh, came out uh, that was absolutely um, clueless to be uh, to be honest with you and uh, those four officers came and uh, came and saved today it's really really good to see that you know one of the biggest crime stats for uh, for this area is theft of the person um, i.e. pickpocketing so they're actually out patrolling uh, today uh, so it's like I'm not doing a live stream on this one because everyone will be made aware so you know I'll, I'm going to walk around the, uh, the town centre so if I uh, sort of see anyone uh, then I'll, uh, you know, if I, if I see him, I will keep away from him, uh, you know, unless I see him actually, uh, you know, abusing their, uh, their powers. But with them just walking about, you know, I, I think it's important that people that are pickpocketing uh, are, are caught. So I don't want to interfere uh, with that. Uh, and uh, hopefully the trolls on the site won't have a go at me for not interfering with pickpocketers trying to uh, be uh, be taken off the uh, off the streets. Uh, but if they do question anyone or go to arrest someone, then I will, uh, if I see it, step in. Just make sure rights are not being uh, sort of abused uh, anyway. Okay, so from uh, Ilford Police Station, uh, everybody, just zoom in on the uh, on on the sign. Uh, I hope you all have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, that video. Uh, in the end, uh, so we had some good interaction at the end. The PCSO uh, didn't have a clue what she was talking about, and uh, the one the plane closed officer actually educated in the end. And uh, over the radio, it actually said, "Look, it's an auditor. Walk away." Uh, but the uh, the damage was already done by uh, by that 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 part. Uh, so if you like the video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like. Please give it a share. And uh, as always, most importantly. Everyone have an absolutely fantastic day and until the next time, see you later, bye.